In example three, we're going to talk about domain and range of our functions. Recall from unit one, we talked about what the domain is and what the range is of a function. The domain was the collection of all our input values, which is typically going to be x in our class. And the range was the collection of all our output values, which is typically going to be y in our class. So what we want to do is we want to know what is the domain of the four graphs we did in examples one and two. So when we're talking about domain, we're talking about what are all the possible x values we can use. So let's scroll back up and look at our different graphs. If I take a look at this graph right here, I'm looking at my x-axis, which is this line right here, and I'm saying every single x value, what's the possibility? So if I go to, let's say, 2, am I going to find a point on my graph? And yes, 2 will have a point on my graph. It might not be a nice number, it might be a decimal, but it will be there. If I go to 10, will I have a point on my graph? Yes. If I keep going on and on, like if I get to, let's say, 15, will I eventually find a point on my graph? And I will, somewhere down here. Remember, my line's going to keep on going forever in every direction. So no matter what x value I choose, I'm always going to find a spot on my line, which means every single x value is a possibility. Now let's check the other graphs. If I look at this one right here in example two, again, my graph is going to be going on in every direction. So if I pick any x value that I want, it's eventually going to find a spot somewhere on my line. So every single x value is a possibility that I can use because it will find a point on my graph. And that goes the same with these other two graphs that we had in example one. This is going to go on forever. It's going to go up this way. It's also going to continue to go down. So any point that I choose, any x value that I choose, will eventually find a point on my graph. So then I can say, if I scroll down to answer my question, what is the domain of the four graphs in example one and two? The domain is all real numbers. Or you can use the symbol, which is that. So every single possible number I can use from a domain. If I take a look at the range, so if I scroll back up to this first graph, remembering that this is going to go on forever. Now, instead of looking at my x's, I'm going to be looking at my y's. Do my y's always find a spot on my graph? And the answer to that is going to be yes. Every single y value will, because as this goes down, if I choose negative 10, negative 10 will somehow find a point on my graph somewhere over in this area. Same thing if I go over here. Negative 15 will eventually find a spot on my graph somewhere up here. So every single y value will find a point on my graph. And that goes with all of the different graphs that we've graphed in example one and two. So the range is also all real numbers. Or again, you can use the symbol of all real numbers. If you have questions on domain and range, please let me know.